What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and welcome to my level 1 to 99 Herblore training guide. This guide covers the basics of the Herblore skill, how to get started training and all the information you'll need to know to train through from 1 to 99. Herblaw, or Herblaw as it's pronounced in America, is a member's skill dedicated to the creation of potions, which are made with herbs combined with a broad range of ingredients. In the main game, it's a buyable skill, which means to efficiently get it to 99, you'll be spending some money, although there are a few methods that make money. The skill also plays a part in other aspects of the game, like catching herbivores, creating barbarian potions, or making tars, which are ammo for salamanders. To be able to train and level up your herb, Lore, you need to have completed the Druidic Ritual quest, which is an easy short quest with no requirements. You'll simply need this range of raw meat, and then the quest is all within the vicinity of Tavali. As for Iron Men and Ultimate Iron Men, training your herb lore is vital for your account, particularly for making prayer potions. This guide doesn't go into detail about training herb lore on an Iron Man, although down the track I will make an in-depth Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man herb lore guide. There's five main ways to gain herb lore experience in old school. Cleaning a grimy herb gives a minuscule amount of experience. Combining an unfinished herbal potion with secondary ingredients or making potions is the fastest way to gain herb lore XP and will be done most of the time on your journey to 99. After completing the herb lore segment of barbarian training, you can make barbarian potions. They're made with normal tube dosed potions mixed with caviar or roe. You can create four types of tars, which are made with 15 swamp tar combined with a clean herb. And lastly, after the Song of the Elves, you can create divine potions, which are made with crystal dust on regular potions. Making divine super combat potions in particular are the most profitable herb lore method in the game. Generally, players make potions to level 99, since they provide far faster experience than any of the other methods. When it comes down to deciding what method you want to use for leveling up, it really comes down to the grand exchange prices. It's important to understand GP per XP with all viable skills. The GP per XP of a method is how much you'll need to spend or profit to gain one experience. It's a very easy way to compare all of the available methods for a skill. For example, let's say you're making strength potions. To make them, you spend money on and consume an unfinished Taraman potion and a Limpwort root. Overall, it costs you 787 coins and you gain 50 Herblor XP. That makes the GP per XP 15.74. So for every million Herblor XP, it's going to cost 15.74 mil, which is far more expensive than the pathway I'll show in this video. On theoatrix.net slash Herblor calculator, it automatically grabs the most recent traded grand exchange prices of all of the trades tradable Herblore methods, and with that it tells you how much it's going to cost to gain one Herblore experience. The GP per XP of potions ranges from 1 GP of profit for super combats to over 150 coins loss per XP for defense potions. The calculator also shows the XP per hour and GP per hour of all the methods, which you can alter in the calculator settings to your training speed. From here, it's easy to see what method is right to train with, however, there's a range of go-to potions that I recommend for training at certain levels, which I'll talk about soon. You can also view the historical GP per XP, so you can track how the cost of a certain method has changed over time. Now I'd like to show the reliable pathway to 99, but there's two very important items you need to take advantage of. First is the Amulet of Chemistry, which dramatically cuts down the cost of your herb lore training. While wearing the amulet, there's a 5% chance that you'll get an extra dose when you make a potion, which is very beneficial when you're making potions that cost a lot of money. The amulet has five charges and currently costs 1.2k, which means each charge from the amulet is 240 coins. So 240 40 coins are consumed to give you the extra dose. This means any potion where one dose is higher than 240 coins, you'll be making a profit and overall cutting down your GP per XP. One dose of prayer potion is currently 3.5k, so while wearing the amulet, there's a 1 in 20 chance that you'll make an extra 3.26k. Being 1 in 20, it cuts the cost of making every individual potion by 163 coins, which is a lot when it comes down to the GP per XP, where the GP is the cost or profit of making the item. At this point in time, normally making prayer potions costs 6.4 GP per XP, but wearing the amulet of chemistry changes it to 4.9, which is a massive jump. 
On the calculator I created, you can view the GP per XP with or without the Amulet of Chemistry. Overall, the Amulet only helps on more expensive potions, more specifically ones that are over 1.1k each in 4 dose form. Using it with potions of low value will just make you lose money overall. The other important item for Herblore training is Botanical Pies. They're currently 1.3k on the Grand Exchange, and taking a bite boosts your Herblore by 4 levels temporarily. With that, you can gain access to training methods you're yet to unlock. Let's say you're at level 34 Herblore. You can take a bite and train with Prayer Potions, which are far quicker and cheaper than any other potions around that level. Another good example is at 86 Herblore, where at level 90 you can create Super Combat Potions and currently you make money making them. I'll be talking more about that example later. So this is my recommended potions pathway to 99. After Druidic Ritual, you're given 250 Herblore experience along with access to the skill. So that brings you to level 3 where you can create attack potions. To create a potion, you need to buy the herb already mixed into potions off the Grand Exchange. Mixing gives no experience and should not be done unless you're solely looking to make money which I'll talk about in the profitable section. If you're playing on PC, you'll want to go into your game settings and edit your hotkeys so that the escape button closes your current interface. In your bank, you can set up the left click X quantity to 14, so that means you can click on each ingredient in the bank, press escape to close, use one on the other, and then press the space bar to make them all. Or you tap in the chat box if you're on mobile. Making 14 potions takes 17 seconds. Then you click back on the bank, deposit all, and click on both ingredients and repeat. Attack potions are the cheapest option you can make until level 38. Although if you have a bit of money to spare, it's not a bad idea to spend more on the lower levels since you can level them up really fast. At level 12, you unlock Strength Potions, which are 5 times more expensive than Attack Potions, but give double the experience. You can do those until level 26, where Energy Potions are a lot faster and cheaper. Training with Attack Potions will take approximately 40 minutes, whereas with the more expensive route, it will take 15 to 20 minutes maximum. If the 120k loss from level 3 to 38 is still too much for you, then stick around to the profitable section of this video, there's a few slower methods you can do. So once you hit 38, there's two main pathways to 99. Overall, the cost from level 1 to 99 with the cheap fast route is only 27 mil with the Amulet of Chemistry, but you can save even more money if if you use botanical pies. From level 86 instead of level 90, if you made super combat potions to 99, you save yourself 11 mil for the money you would have spent on super restores. You also make around 5 mil profit from the super combat. That changes the entire cost from level 1 to 99 only 15 mil, which is ridiculously low. Super combat potions are made a little differently from other potions. You instead mix a clean torstol herb with a super attack strength and defense fence in 4 dose form. You can make 7 per inventory, so your custom withdraw should be set to that. On the other hand, the more expensive pathway still involves prayer potions and restores, but includes super energies between 52 and 63, then Saradomen brews, which are the fastest in the game. They give over 400k XP per hour, but at a cost of 10 GP per XP. Since brews are far cheaper potions, the Amulet of Chemistry has less of an effect on them, but will still save you over a mil from 81 to 90. At level 90, it's recommended to make super combat potions even if you have a lot of money. However, for those that want the fastest 99, you can make Saradomen brews all the way through for a massive cost of 124 mil. You can also make super restores to 99, which are cheaper than Saradomen brews, but 25% slower XP wise. If you swap from Saradomen brews to super combat potions at level 90, it takes 83 mil off the total cost. Something I haven't talked about with these methods is how long they take. Making 2,300 potions per hour, which is an average amount, and 1,800 super combats per hour, it'll take 39 hours to get from 1 to 99 using the cheap fast route. It takes 36 hours with the fast method with super combats from 90 to 99, and 32 hours if you do Saradomen brews all the way through. 
For most players, the best method is the cheap fast option I showed first. I only really showed Saradome and Bruise since they're the fastest method in the game. They're not really recommended unless you found your mum's credit card. Although if you're going for 200 million experience, it would take 750 hours with super combat potions, whereas with Saradome and Bruise, it takes a far less 460 hours. But the difference in cost is 2 billion coins. Moving on to the profitable herb lore methods. There's three categories, cleaning herbs, unfinished potions, and divine potions. Cleaning herbs involves buying grimy herbs off the grand exchange in bulk and selling them back for higher value in its clean form. It's a great way for low levels to train herb lore without spending any money. People with a higher herb lore level and access to higher level herbs can make a decent amount of profit from the more expensive herbs. When buying the grimy herbs, you need to be patient and not overpay in the grand exchange. At this point in time, you profit 140 coins per Snapdragon that you clean. You can clean anywhere from 5,000 to over 10,000 herbs per hour, depending on how fast you click and your focus. Cleaning 10,000 Snapdragons in an hour would net you 1.4 mil in profit. You also get 111k herb lore experience and a very sore hand. Instead of spending money on attack potions at level 3, you can clean Guam's Morentals and a broad range of other herbs for small amounts of profit, but a considerably lower XP rate than making potions. On my herb lore calculator, you can change the number of herbs per hour to what you're expecting, and it automatically changes the XP and GP per hour of all the herbs. Another highly profitable method is unfinished potions. This involves using a clean herb on a vial of water. You create unfinished potions at double the speed of regular potions, so it's possible to make over 3,000 of these per hour. I mentioned earlier that these give zero experience, but they are locked behind herb lore level requirements. With level 50 herb lore, you can make unfinished Avento potions, where at the moment, making 3,000 nets you over 770k profit per hour. You can check the current profits of all of the unfinished potions with the calculator linked down below. The most profit from Herb Lore comes from Divine Potions. There's six types, where each one is made with a standard counterpart combined with Crystal Dust. Crystal Dust is untradeable and can only be obtained after doing the Song of the Elves quest, which has decently high requirements in the 70s. You get 10 Crystal Dust per Crystal Shard that you use a Pestle and Mortar on, which is also untradeable, making this method one you can't do consistently by buying items. Divine Super Combat Potions make you 16.6 6k per shard at this point in time. If you did this for a full hour, you'd make 15 mil an hour, but you'd consume crystal dust, which takes a long time to get. So that's all of the viable herb lore training methods. The training pathway to 99 really depends on how much you're willing to spend on the skill. Currently, you can get 99 for only 27 mil or a lesser 15 mil, which is insane for a viable skill. I'd briefly like to talk about Iron Men, but before I do, I want to announce that I'm now selling huge 36-inch gaming mouse pads on my merch store. They're sent out with DHL Express shipping from a warehouse in North Carolina in the USA. So it takes only a few days to arrive in the USA, and worldwide it only takes one to two weeks. I made a post in the community section of YouTube and we've already sold out of the JAD design. So if I'm out of stock on a design that you like, on the product page, you can enter your email to get notified when they're back in stock. When it comes down to training herb lore on an Iron Man, the bulk of your time goes into obtaining herbs and secondary ingredients. There's a range of ways to obtain herbs. The majority comes from your Slayer training and your herb farm runs. Herbivores are the only method in the game that requires herb lore to do and gives you a pet. You have a 1 in 6,500 chance to get the Herbie pet upon successfully capturing a herbivore. To get started training herb lore as an Iron Man, you can buy Eye of Newt packs from Jadix in Tavali or Betty in Port Sarum. You can then buy vial of water packs from a variety of general stores. An easy one is near the Arty Zoo. With these, you can make your Guam herb drops and mix them into Guam unfinished potions and then create attack potions. Eyes of Newt are an easy secondary to obtain, but with other potions, you'll need to go collect or in most cases, farm your secondary. As an ultimate Iron Man, you can note herbs or any farmable secondaries at a tool leprechaun, which makes at least half of the potions so much easier to make. When you're making potions, you should do it at the Grand Exchange in the southwestern area. Here, you can mix your potions using the Grand Exchange Bank, then by speaking to Bob Barter and asking for one to two dose potions, he will note your potions for you. Then you can repeat the process. 
So that concludes my level 1 to 99 herb lore guide. A reminder to check out the GP per XP calculator down in the description, and you can edit the calculator settings to your training speed to work out what method works best for you. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit subscribe for more old school RuneScape content. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.